Welcome back to Greenfield Central. At the end of quarter number one, 24-18 the score. A little 9-0 run by Winchester helped give them the breathing room at the end of period number one. Kind of a blowout in the second quarter. It was all but decided by the time we got to the intermission. 47-28 the lead for Winchester at halftime. They led 65-38 at the end of period number three. Closed it out with an 84-53 victory. Lawrenceburg again 21-4. Winchester now 22-3. Scores in the ballgame. Jim Fair with 14. Doug Seymour with 14. Sean Powell with 12. They pace the Lawrenceburg Tigers. Uh, for the Winchester Golden Eagles, or Golden Falcons, we should say, Tyler Cook with uh, 21, 16 for Levi Cross, 15 for Morrison, Clayton Briggs with 8. So he said 39 points off the bench, huge for Chip Mahaffey's ball club. It's a guy that believes in using his bench, and coach, a pretty impressive win for Winchester. Uh, let's hope they didn't spend it all tonight because they're going to need some Saturday having only three days to prepare for Evansville Modern Day. Well, I mean, you're right. It went on two counts. One, it was a great win. I mean, it just to, to come out and, and uh, to be out of your out of your rhythm for both teams is hard to play a Monday night and Tuesday night to play a regional championship. But in, in typical fashion from Winchester, you know, you look, as you pointed out, 39 off the bench, Tyler Cook with 21, 17 in the first half. You know, they did it the way they've gotten to this point by winning 22 games all year long. Great defensive effort, very solid offense, unselfish, efficient, and more than anything, a group of guys that play extremely well together, player 1 through 12. And I think you saw that really clearly tonight in this ball game. It's their fifth regional championship for Winchester. They'll look for their third semi-state next week. And again, last year, uh, after going to the state championship, losing in double overtime, making a strong bid to get back there. Again, they have not lost since all the way back on January the 18th. Their other two losses were to Washington, a 3A school, 65-53. Lost in overtime to 4A Crown Point, 75-70. Beat Union City and Monroe Central in tournament play. Put 124 up on Hagerstown. We mentioned their lone bobble. Well, we keep referring to it, but at Jay County, they lost 46-44. And, That's uh, a good Jay County team. No question he has his ball club clicking on all cylinders, and they're playing good basketball at the right time. But you can't put a premium on that experience of being in the Conseco Fieldhouse last year playing for the championship. and. That's the drive. That's the motivator that has these kids playing the way they play. I mean, Chip is a driven coach, as we've talked about. He's an outstanding coach, but that's exactly what these kids are focused on is a return trip to Conseco. And, again, uh, give us uh, your thoughts and impressions as they prepare uh, for, an obviously, an ever, a very tough Evansville Modern Day team on Saturday. Well, again, it, it's a situation where, you know, and if you let this creep into your mind, it's a problem, but Modern Day, really a good, solid basketball team without question, one on Saturday has been off, obviously, since that point. I'm sure they were here getting themselves ready to go. But now if you're Chip Mahaffey, you sell your kids on, look, we've done this before. We've played on Tuesday. We've played games Tuesday, Friday, Saturday. We've done all this. We understand what that's about. We did it in the sectional. We're going to do it again this weekend. But they, they've got to continue to play the way they play, and they've got to continue to come out here. And I think you can handle this type of situation because of how deep you are and how strong you are as a basketball team. It is a 10-man, a ten ten, nine, nine, ten kids who came out there tonight, and every one of them, Mark, gave a great performance. They played significant, strong minutes when they were in there. So you're going to have to have this as you head into Saturday. Again, the big show coming up this Friday and Saturday. Give us a preview. Uh, Indiana Sports Talk will be focusing clearly on basketball. We're going to do some... Semi-state previews, we're going to talk about the Big Ten uh, men's tournament, and uh, we'll talk a little Pacers and NASCAR. Got to squeeze a little NASCAR in because they're off and running. Well, look forward to all of that. Look forward to uh, being with you folks again Saturday. Again, log on to IHSAASports.org. Tomorrow we should have the schedule set in terms of where we will be, who we will be covering, and what time. Also want to remind you, this game is available uh, via the archives and all of the championships throughout the course of this 2000. 7-2008 season, always available on IHSAASports.org. One more time, the champions of the 2A Regional 11, Winchester, they knock off Lawrenceburg 84-53. One final time from Greenfield Central, Mark James for Bob Lovell saying so long, everybody.